everybody, James here with Tetris Response. Thanks for watching. Well, ever since I've talked about like the three things that go wrong with our routines and the fact that I fixed them in class, people have been asking me about my toolkit. Now, I have a teaching trailer with a full workbench, full complement of tools for all kinds of stuff. I'm going to show you the least I go around with. This is my trunk, truck all the time, even if I'm not at a class where I'm towing my trailer, I have at least the basic tools with me for any of those types of classes. So uh, it's it, the, the beginning is the SOE tool roll. And uh, so what we'll do is I'll open this thing up, show you the tool bag itself, which is cool, uh, and tell you what, what, what I have in it and why. Here we go. So here it is. This tool bag is made by SOE. It means that you can draw the tank over it or whatever the case may be. This is the kitten's entirety. Um, so with the stuff I have in it, the straps are not quite all the way and there's some slack. So you could put a little bit more stuff in this bag than I have in here right now. So it still has some slack in it. But I could also trim some of the uh, bulk down but I'll explain what's going on. So in the this big pouch for the first pouch have probably the two most important things in here. Uh, the fix it sticks. Uh, this is the gun the gun one from fix it sticks and this is pretty damn complete. Pretty damn complete. Um, I uh, I thought well it doesn't have that many torques or that many this or whatever. Uh, but it seems to have the right sizes. Uh, so kudos to them. This is a kit that I can recommend to anybody. I don't know anybody at Fix It Sticks. I bought this retail. This is not an endorsement, but like a paid endorsement. I don't know these guys. This is a great kit. I've added some uh, Loctite paste in here. Uh, tends not to spill out of the bottle, things like that. It's very important. But uh, this is it. Uh, and I write my name all my stuff. So... <laughs> Uh, over here, the uh, Leatherman MUT. If you're going to own an AR-15, this should be on your gear. It should be on your kit. It should be in your shooting bag or something. But this kit uh, is complete. I ordered some extra bits and things like that. Uh, but the, uh, the wrench, but the the Leatherman MUT uh, is invaluable for the AR-15 owner. So if you're if you're a prepper. And you don't have the inclination to have a big toolkit for your AR, you should at least have that. Trust me. Uh, put it aside. So, here's more tool type stuff. Uh, ever present with me are the products from Breakthrough Clean, the grease and the oil. Uh, I use these on everything. They're great, they're wonderful, they're good people. What's not to like? Uh, then there's a and, and here was the uh, blue Loctite. This is the low strength, the 222 Loctite. This is for tiny screws, like that might be on your red dot pistol uh, on top of your Glock or whatever the case may be. This is what you'd use for that, something that wasn't that, that much. To save space, I have one of these four-way screwdrivers that uh, is Phillips and flat on both ends as a space saver. Works out well. Um, this is one of the most used items in the kit. Uh, I like this one, these thin, these thin ones for tightening castle nuts. It works really well, the barrel wrench and all that, you know, for flash irons and stuff. But that's probably the single most used tool in this kit for AR 15s. Um, this is uh, just an Allen wrench, uh, 3 16 That's what size the pistol grip screw is on AR 15s. This gets used a lot in conjunction with this. Uh, you can use the blue for that too. Uh, this was a recommended, I'd seen these before, I'd never used one. This was recommended by one of my viewers. I can't remember his name. Give me a shout out, let me know who you are. I think it was maybe one of the Patreon guys, but I can't remember, but remind me who you are. But this is a uh, spring-loaded punch. And this is great. It's easier than the hammer because now I got to hold everything still. This thing, I just put it down, pull the spring, boom, and I punch it. Maybe two smacks, but <laughs> punch right through that. Um, maybe two smacks, but uh, this is great. This this replaces a punch and a hammer in this kit. That's why I can shrink the kit down so small. 
this replaces two things. So a lot of bang for the buck there. Up here, and, and most of this stuff is rifle stuff because most of your rifles break in classes, not pistols. Um, this is my necklace of zero. <laughs> so all my zeroing tools, or most of all of them anyway, are on this uh, thing. All the little Allen heads and flat heads and uh, like this Thunder Ranch aim point uh, adjuster with a flat head and, and a little wrench for the nuts and things like that. But of course, uh, you know, you aim point and uh, air 15, you know, the, just the things that I need. I do have a full size uh, AK uh, thing too. Another screwdriver marker. This is for tiny screws, small ones. It's double sided as well. Uh, for some scopes that use those. But that completes the kit. So guys, I appreciate you checking in. Uh, I don't want this to be a big, huge kit. So I'm not, I don't want that. But if you do say, hey, James, you know what I have in my kit that works really well, you know, that would fit in a small kit, let me know. I'd appreciate that. Um, what else can I help you with? Like, are there other videos you want to see of the things that I do that may be of interest to you? Just let me know, and I'll try to... Um, try to make those for you as soon as I can <laughs> uh, regardless uh, I appreciate everybody appreciate everybody that has joined the channel uh, there's a join button down below the videos and you, for as little as 99 cents a month you can support the channel and help me out and I really appreciate that this is James Edward Tattler Response reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends <laughs>